My name is Avery Olson, and today I'll be talking about UMASH's Aging on the Farm Virtual Community Forums. In the spring of 2020, UMASH hosted two virtual community forums to increase awareness, identify regional needs, collect resources, and encourage community engagement on the topic of aging on the farm. Three major themes were found throughout these forums. The first theme, challenges affecting the health and safety of farmers across the life span, address physical and mental barriers, limited supports during life transitions, and inadequate access to health services. This theme was further supported by a wiki survey regarding the health and safety of aging farmers. A total of 16 health and safety concerns were provided by UMASH, and another seven concerns were added by respondents. These seven concerns are highlighted in dark gray on the survey. Enabling respondents to add concerns promoted public participation and resulted in a total of 1,720 responses recorded. The results concluded the top concerns as financial worries, musculoskeletal injuries, sleep patterns, balance and coordination deficits, the operation of heavy machinery, and limited mobility and strength. These survey results were presented at the Midwest Rural Agricultural Safety and Health Conference which later led towards a spark of interest from AgriSafe to collaborate on the development of the, of the webinar, Aging and Parkinson's in Agriculture. This webinar illustrated the impact of aging and Parkinson's on a farmer and provided intervention strategies to improve their work performance. The form's second theme, Improving Supports and Services for Aging Farmers, was reflected within the Aging and Parkinson's in Agriculture webinar through the demonstration and awareness of the impacts of aging and understanding the needs of rural communities. Other key areas of improvement that must be addressed in, future, in the future include access to services and funding for financial support for farmers. Finding ways to improve farmers' supports also leads to new opportunities. In accordance to the form's third theme, the provision of opportunities to better support aging farmers and their communities UMASH has initiated the development of online resources corresponding to physical and mental health barriers of farmers, as well as funded four partner projects to further explore the topic of aging at a regional level. Funding four different projects enables four other organizations to educate and av advocate for different aspects of the aging farmer. For example, the first project, Active at Home, looked at how Parkinson's disease support can occur throughout home toolkits. The second project, Rural Minnesota Memory Loss Connection, focuses on how we support dementia caregivers and the community-based organizations to understand the mental and physical challenges of memory loss. The third project, Healthy Aging on the Farm, emphasizes how we can close the gaps between the needs of aging farmers with existing resources through the use of faith-based organizations. The last project, University of Minnesota OT pro Program, provides telehealth services to individuals in agricultural communities. Conclusively, UMASH has initiated several strategies to determine how health and agricultural professionals can meet farmers' needs, but there is still much more that must be done. Aging plays a significant role within an aging farmer's identity, and there is a strong urgency for farmers, their families, and their communities to understand the impacts of aging acknowledge the lack of supports and services available, and learn how to best support and advocate for this aging population. Thank you for listening.